Okay, so uh, welcome to the patch rundown for the Crusader uh, job release here. Um, they have a um, graphic here for the patch notes that they have in English. So it's a Retribution of the Lights, new job, Crusader. Again, we guessed that it was going to be Crusader, you know, just in time for glass time. If you guys paid attention to uh, or watch uh, the most recent podcast that me and Thai uh, did, um, we have predictions for uh, what the next job classes are and why our predictions are the way they are. Uh, Crusader, as opposed to ordinary knights, Crusaders pledge to serve the divine. To be more useful than Lord Knights, no hardship or pain can ever stop them as something so mundane will only serve as a whetstone to sharpen their faith. So, uh, pretty good graphic, pretty good intro to present a new update, a new class, for uh, especially for players that uh, have never played Rue before, or RO before. And then, obviously, the release of Blast Time, uh, you guys probably already know. I released the uh, grinding video for this uh, map already, so check that out if you are curious as to like where your future grind spots are going to be. So what secrets could hide behind these cursed walls? Available for adventurers above level 87, a new adventurer is calling. Uh, correction on this one. 87 you can start grinding like Arklaus if you can kill them like fast enough. So uh, definitely before 87 you can already go to uh, uh, dark frames to grind there if you want to. But I think they just put 87 there just as a Kind of like a benchmark because like just because you can grind at dark frames and get like 100 percent xp doesn't mean that you probably sh like you should because it might be less xp for you because it takes so long to kill and uh, update number three major league the crossover guild league is here rather your guildies and claim the ultimate glory crossover thing that they had was um yeah they didn't really put it in this graphic uh per se so let's go ahead and open up here as well so for for major league uh division a is going to be where we're at it's 7 we're going to be facing off against Frontera 1 3 5 7 and 9 and then is 1 3 5 7 and 9 and then morok 1 and 3 uh for division a that's the one that we're, we're up against um uh division b is 2 4 6 8 10 even numbers 2 4 6 8 10 is loot as well and then 2 and 4 morok and then uh division c is going to be morok 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then Geffen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? And then uh, Division D is Geffen, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and then Payon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Looks like they didn't include the uh, Orc Village servers yet, so, you know, that's, I mean, that's normal. I think they're a little too behind to be participating in it yet, so... Uh, good idea to hold off on that. So, Rude Delicacy Festival, okay? Looks like, uh, collect ingredients to, re to redeem rewards. Like, how do we collect ingredients, though? Like, grinding, dailies, or are we gonna have to pay for it again? So, let's just go through here and said, uh, so we discussed this, we discussed this, uh, new zone and events, discuss this as well. Quest Adventures of Battle 87 will be able to take on a new main quest to uncover the mysterious historical past of Glassheim. Really good, uh, really good storyline if you want to pay attention to that, by the way. Uh, paid, th paid attention to it on my first playthrough and just been skipping it since then. <laughs> so, uh, really good. Um, and exploration quest, so we see for Bright Word, Last Ace, Encounter Quests. Uh, so just more XP sources in general. So that way, uh, by the time the level 90 update releases, we'll have more updates to, or quests rather, to pay attention to and like do. Uh, you know, to get to 90 faster. Um, so only top... Only the top 8 guilds with the Radiant Sun rank on each server will be able to participate in the cross-server Major League. Uh, the calendar of the regular guild league will remain unchanged for the rest of the guilds. In the Major League, 4 servers from the same division, with a total of 32 guilds, will fight for ultimate glory. There will be 4 ranks, and all members of a guild uh, that participates in the Major League will receive weekly ranking rewards depending on their guild's rank. So, from what it looks like here, besides the um, the regular guild league rewards, by being in the major league, you're also going to get re uh, weekly ranking rewards depending on your guild's rank as well. So, it's, it's very good incentive for people who are trying to be like up there and trying to be competitive. Um, the downside being that like, you know, people who are already like free to play or and like in the lower ranking guilds will kind of like fall behind which but i mean like at the same time it's like a necessary evil because like what's the point of 
trying to compete for the top spots if there's no rewards to make it worth it or incentivize people to do it. So that makes sense. I think it's more unfortunate in this specific case just because usually the people that are up there are already like whales that probably don't need as like any more resources than they're already getting, right? So if you're like a low spender, mid spender, free to play, you know, like not as much of a whale and you're trying to get more resources, then I would probably encourage you to join a uh, a more competitive guild that can, you know, uh, get up there in the major leagues. So um, yeah, preseason will be held around 627 to 710 to warm up every unyielding spirit. Uh, scores from preseason matches will be reset before the major league begins. So we're about to, what are we, like five days away from that now? Something like that. Um, five and a half days. So, you know, good way for people to gauge like where they're at in power level. It's uh, also a good idea to, you know, light a fire in like everybody to just to take our own server, for example. If you've been dominating the server for a while, a lot of your members, probably not your core members because like they're well aware of like cross server coming you know there's people that are going to be complacent right they've just been used to winning so much that like as soon as like cross server happens it's going to be a very rude awakening for a lot of people because of the fact that like hey this is not the server you were dominating this is cross server and you're gonna get your asses whooped if you think that you can just like auto afk follow uh map two or map one of your guild league right so really good that this managed to like come out i was expecting I was not expecting it to come out this early, or at least like not expecting it to come out before War of Imperium, but it's at the same time, it's also very welcome. Um, because I feel like if this didn't come out or War of Imperium didn't come out, a lot of people would end up quitting because they'd be bored, I'd say. So really opportune time for this to come out. Uh, first season of Major League will officially begin on 7-11. New servers with insufficient server level will be temporary and available for the Major League, which is fair because we all know what happened when we held cross-server PvP with all the servers, including the new one in NA. RIP like Mastering Server, they had like level 60s and 70s fighting against like level 90 pluses from like all the, fir like the first four servers and they just got ran over pretty much, right? So it's, it's this is a good thing because it's it saves them from from the, getting their asses whooped. so new items card wishing at level several a uh, server level 75 and above uh cards acquirable from undersea tunnel four labyrinth forest second floor labyrinth third floor it will be added to card wishing for example strofo squidget etc okay so they implemented this a lot sooner than na did so that's also really good add that to the pool at server level 85 and above cards acquirable from Glassheim will be added to card wishing like Alice, Radric, and Rideboard card. That's that's also really good. I know a lot of people have been holding up, like holding their um, you know, their pity points because they've maxed out on their PvP cards, their PvE cards, and now they're just waiting for like Radric or something like that. So uh that's also really good. Gotcha from 7-1 to 7-8. Uh three gotcha will be available at the price of 30 nyan berries per draw is it the headgears kind of like how um the headgears and mounts like where you have to buy the box is that it it's probably it okay no surprise there so they only give you like a week to to draw those so basically three okay that's fine like the door and pipe one okay yeah that's what i said yeah okay yep capsule gotcha fashion wishing come and draw a new outfits your gotcha to get subject to the opening of date of each server fashion gotcha resets every 14 days um, I'm hoping this fashion one is the, uh, the dark angel wings or whatever, like the dark wings that I've been waiting for for a while. Would be really happy if that was the case, because uh, I actually saved up pity points for that and some gotcha tickets for that. So if I get it, then I don't have to use my pity points. I can actually use my pity points for when the uh, gravity field costumes come out. Uh, Delicacy Festival Forum 626 at 5. Delicacy Festival will be available, collecting event ingredients via slaying monsters, defeating MVPs, and conducting daily commissions to redeem rewards such as colorful rice ball, mouthwear, super pet coupons, all that. This is really nice, right? You don't have to pay for it, I hope. Do your usual dailies and incentivize to do them even more, and just get rewards just for actually the game. Things can get too monotonous when it's like the same effort, same reward every single day, so that's really good. Now this is the one that we just read here, the Delicacy Festival Raffle. The number one... Raffle is a cross server event where the prize pools are shared among all adventurers. Oh. Each time a prize is drawn, it will be removed from the prize pool permanently. Oh. A limited a limited time bait 
strategy aimed at like whales to FOMO into trying to get the uh, top rewards. Mm. And the rate of the remaining prizes will be adjusted accordingly. Once the amount of remaining prizes is under a certain number, the draw 10 function will be temporarily disabled, leaving only draw 1 available. The adventurer who draws the last prize from the prize pool will receive the number 1 prize. Unspent raffle tickets will expire. Three different prize pools starting on 6297275 will become available respectively. Prize pool number 1 will feature optional SPET chest. Okay. And then Nyanberry times 10,000. So 10k Nyans. Optional mini card album. I think this is the one over here, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So price pool... Huh? So which is it? Is it price pool 1 or price pool 3? Okay, alright. <clears throat> um, And then price pool 2, optional mini, mini card... Optional mini card album. As the grand prize. Not too bad. Uh, optional illusion card album. What worries me about this is that like this is a... Uh, this is a worrying trend. This one right here. This is fine. But um, that means that like eventually they're going to have MVP card albums as well. I and mean, we all know that that does not bode well. So hopefully, I mean, you know, maybe they'll have like this, the seven day ones like they did in NA. But like if they have the permanent ones, that's going to be unfortunate. And then the price pool number one, which is number three in the patch notes. I don't know which one is which will be Frost World times one as a grand prize and Frost World times five as the number one prize. So, uh, grand prize and number one prize. What's the difference? I guess number one prize is better than the grand prize. Okay. So, Frost World. I mean, we didn't really rank Frost World too high on the tier list. So, I, I'm not. I mean, it's good for, for, for collection. Probably would not take it over like Holy Light Descending or, you know, Divine Sword or whatever. Of great value will be available in our shop during the event to help you win the raffles. They will be. It will get replenished as the prize pool resets. Okay, so it's another um, pay for the chance to yeah. Okay, that's uh, that's what we guessed. Yeah, that seems to be a trend. So I mean, it's expected at this point. I just avoid it and just I just focus on feathers, unless like uh, the gotcha ones that are cheap up here are actually like good pieces of gear. Uh, Delicacy festival bundle, uh, a limited. Time but Dundle. Dundle will be available upon purchase. You will receive rewards consecutively for three days. You get 40 chisel, five gacha tickets, chapter of freedom. Pretty good. Diamonds, guild token 500, skip ticket times 20. It's eh, kind of meh. This one is lucky candy, speedy candy. I mean, it's how much is it? Because this is this is uh, this is okay. This is okay. This is pretty... This is pretty great. So it better be like 99 cents or something, bro. <laughs> Don't give me none of that, like $5. During the event, uh, Adventures will also have a chance to trigger a special pack for purchase, which contains... What? There's RNG in here? I will also have a chance to trigger a special pack for purchase. Which contains Super Fat Coupon 5, the Ruchi's Treasure Map 3. I don't know why they put it in these like deals. If that this is so I don't know. Uh and rare card ticket times one. Did they really just add an element of RNG into a basic purchase? Okay. And uh this one again. Oh, this I mean I appreciate these every week. It's extra XP, extra MA for uh this, this is really good for free to play, uh if you guys are curious, because um Monster Annihilation uh just adds more into your pity progress for the cards that you're uh, looking for. So that this is really good. Uh, double card drop rate. Don't care for it. Uh, RNG is RNG. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, well, what it will do for you though is uh, at least speed up your MA a little bit, which uh, when used in conjunction with this doubles the value that you get from this one. So because uh, just in case you guys are are curious, what dictates your um your pity is the uh, drop rate. That's why MA boosts your pity rate faster than CT. Because of uh, MA being time 6 uh, by default. So Operation Union. Uh, just more proofs of union rewards. This is really good as well. For people capping out on their unions. If you don't know how to cap your unions quick. Just uh, form a 5 man pre-made with your friends or your guildmates. Uh, one person do HHH at a time. The other 4 assist. 
rinse and repeat until you go through everybody else and then just assist like one or two dailies after that and then you're capped for the day so um you know just have somebody be the 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 captain and just drag everybody the vein strategic battle the ranking for this one is rewards are pretty bad but um if you're just going for your 4k points a day the rewards are pretty good for the amount of effort which is almost zero effort plus you get like the free token of siegfried for eating coins which is always worth getting so you should always be getting that uh, start stacking them overall pretty good events in terms of like you know free to play value and some bragging rights for people who want to get up there in the rankings and then uh, bug fixes fix an issue where a five where a day five quest in root pass was not progressible okay yeah that's i think that should be that should require some compensation no because he paid for something and it doesn't work properly uh, fix an issue where dialogues for second-gen events were missing while the language set to simplify Chinese. Uh, fix an issue where combat healing text was displayed, in, displayed incorrectly when the healing reduction debuff from Rocker Bully skill took effect. Uh, fix an issue where the guild interface was occasionally displayed incorrectly. Issue where upon entering and leaving a zone, pets could get injured. Progress bar was occasionally displayed incorrectly while delving a dungeon. Delving a dungeon? Just doing a dungeon? Fix an issue where pet icons were not showing on the pet ranking. Fix an issue where the cross server queue would not proceed even when all adventurers had agreed. Oh, this must have been annoying. Preview of future updates. Update Updated contents for Academy and existing systems. Okay, that's really good. I mean, hopefully. Better rewards, maybe? Uh, level 90 features. Temple of Nightmare. So, uh, yeah, this one. Then. People's uh people's brains and mechanics are gonna be tested by this one right here because uh you know, it's very it's very mechanic driven type of dungeon so but that's pretty much it uh for the patch note rundown for our uh, crusader uh you know patch updates um I mean overall pretty impressive some events obviously I'm like not too impressed with but uh, for the most part we do get some good ones so I guess you know that's way better than nothing at this point right because it's, it's like uh for people who are just trying to try, try to play the game just like want to progress their characters um you know at an even pace um i think that these uh free-to-play friendly events are definitely like really really good um don't think that you should expect to compete with like whales anyway uh you can try to compete with them to a certain degree but like you know um anything beyond a certain point is pretty unhealthy anyway so at this point just appreciate what we can get that's it patch rundown <laughs>